What's going on, y'all? It's Eat With Passion Black One. This is what we have here today. I made my homemade seafood soup. Got shrimp inside of it, potatoes, dumplings, celery, the whole nine pepper, coals. You know what I'm saying? If you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe, like, and share. Everything's going to be in the bio, bio, I'm sorry, description box. The ingredients, the everything, what we're going to be talking about, everything, guys. So I will be launching these videos on Monday. So you cannot miss these videos. It's on Czech Republic playlist that I do ex have exclusively. And we about to get a show on the road. Amen. This is what I really needed, y'all. I had to say, you know what? What the heck? I need to make me some soup because we're technically still in springtime and it's still winter. And that's a problem for me. <laughs> like for real. Look, let's look at this dumpling that I made. It's so good. Added some oregano, garlic powder, uh, salt seasoning, is salt seasoning, salt. Oh, I'm sorry. Wrong thing I'm saying, guys. It's not salt seasoning. It's vegetable seasoned salt free. Then I had the regular seasoning without the salt free of uh, vegetable, vegetable salt seasoning. And I, mean, I got it myself tongue tied a little bit. Oh, my God. Oh my gosh. And then I added, uh, what else I added? Added vegetable broth. You got my potatoes in there, carrots is in there. Mm. This, what you need in your life. If you're in a cold, country or in the states and it's cold around your area fire up some soup homemade soup and this is what you need it's good for the soul good for the tummy oh man I want to go all the way back to like 2019. Going all the way back to 2019, I was dating somebody that was older than me. About six to seven years. And um, I lost a bet, y'all. And you know, if you don't know me very well, I do not like losing at all. I hate losing. I don't like to lose. I will do anything to win. Anything, anything, anything. Oh my God, it's so spicy. <clears throat> mm. Really and truly, this is what I needed, man, because it's too cold out here. So let me get back to the story. I believe we're, we're playing Uno, right? You know, I'm a big Uno fan. So the first time I won, I was happy. Ha ha, I got you. Can't beat me. So I'm like, all right, cool. 
I was feeling myself on the first round. And one of my ex is like, she taking it easy. Like she she was calm. Cause I was like, yeah, I'll beat your, I'll beat your ass. You feel me? And I was like, I never seen somebody so calm under pressure when you gloating and you winning. And she made it seem like she brushed it off, she brushed it off like, yo, that ain't nothing. This is your last time you gonna win. That's how she gave me. She gave me that mood. Like, yeah, whatever. You ain't gonna win the second one. So I'm like, yo, what's up? She said, like, she told me, yo, double or nothing. That's a double or nothing. Which means you've already lost. She said, double or nothing, man. You scared? And I'm like, yo, she trying me right now. She got under my skin. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Got under my skin. Talking about, yo, you scared to go ahead and face him? You, like, you scared to face me again? I'm like, nah, I already beat you. So what's up? It's like, put you where your money is, where your mouth is. Let's put a bet on. I was like, all right, cool. We gonna bet. So <clears throat> she's like, the first five games, kid you not. The first five games, if you lose four times, then I'll, I'll I'm going to bet you, and you're going to have to eat something. And I was like, all right, cool. But I was like, all right, shit, I'm, I'm here. All right, cool, you feel me? Like, I was happy, like, yo, I got this in the bag. Man. So, we're going for another round. And, uh, I was so miserable, y'all. First round, I won. Second round, she won. Third round, I took another L. The fourth round, another L. And I was like, damn. Like, how she how she stringing all these wins up, bro? Like, I was like, I don't understand. So I told her like, yo, if I win, you gonna have to do, you going you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, you gonna have to do, you gonna have to rub my feet. You gonna, you gonna take care of me. Like, uh, that's what I told her she gonna have to do, right? You know what this monkey told me that I had to do? After I lost those four games, y'all, If y'all really want to know, I need y'all to think what she had me do if she won the bet. I was so upset. I was disgusted. I couldn't believe it. You probably saying, Pat, just tell me your story, man. Like, what are you doing? Why are you holding up on the information? All right. So, I lost the bet. My ex told me, all right, so just to let you know, um, I, won, I won the bet, and you're going to have to eat 
a hundred year old egg. What? A hundred year old egg. So the next morning we got up. Yo, this is disturbing, y'all. We went to the grocery store. It's like an Asian grocery store. This is back in Florida. And they actually sell a freaking egg that's a hundred year old. And I didn't know that. I did not know that. So, <clears throat> got the egg. And there's another egg she showed me that has a, a baby chicken that's hatched inside the egg. So she tell me like, which one you want? The hundred year old egg or the baby chicken that's hatched inside of it? I'm like, yo, I'm a, I'm a animal person as it is. And I know I'm eating animal y'all. I, I get that. I mean, it's dead. I get it. But seeing a real life chicken inside an egg to eat, I can't do it. Like, I, I just cannot do it. I'd rather see the yolk and I could go ahead and fry it and pull in the pan and bam, bam. You get what I mean? But yeah, you ain't going to catch me eating no chicken, real live chicken in the egg. I can't do it. So I said, yo, I'll take the 100 year old egg. All right, boom. So we went back to the house. Y'all, when I put that, when I actually cut the hundred year old egg, it's black, by the way. You cut inside of it. You know how like it's a hard boiled egg? You cut inside of it. The yolk is green. Green like this goddamn, you see how this banana is right here? Like it's green, y'all. Like it's, it's green like that. The yolk is green. And it's black around it. So I'm like, Jesus Christ. And she was like, she's like, any last words? I'm like, bro, just pass me the hot sauce because I lost a bet. So I'm like, yo, I can't go out no like no punk. So I'm like, fuck this, man. I'm about to take this. So <clears throat> catch me out. Cash me out. I put the thing in my mouth. And I, I started chewing it. It was so horrible. It was so horrible, y'all. Like, I wanted to puke. And I, I was just chewing it, chewing it. And my stomach started to turn. Like, it was so bad. It was so freaking bad. And I'm trying to swallow it. And it, when I was trying to swallow it through my throat, my throat was like pushing back the the black egg out. I was like, oh my God, I was about to puke. And I was like, I was hitting my stomach and I was like, all right, you gotta just, just have it down, just have it settled. And I'll have to use the hot sauce just to give it some type of flavor because, oh my God, I, I just felt sick. I'm like feeling sick to the stomach right now just talking about it. It's just disgusting. It's really disgusting. So I'm like, yo, how you make me eat this thing? This is like really absurd. Bruh, y'all, ladies and gents, if you're gonna do a bet, do not have no black egg. No 100 year old black egg. Please, I beg you, don't eat it. Pick another bet. Better yet, pay a person to say, hey, I give you $50 out of my own pocket. So I don't eat this egg because it's the worst thing in the world. I'm telling you, I don't care if you put salt and pepper on there or hot sauce, Frank hot sauce. I don't care if you put some jerk season on it. Bruh, you can have all that. I'm not doing it again. I'm telling you this, that blue Takis video that y'all saw me ate is better than that.
Like that blue talkies, I take the blue talkies than that hundred year old egg any day, anytime, anywhere, any place. Okay? Alright. If you have, man, I'm done with y'all, man. I don't know what's wrong with me. But it's the last of this video, man. I want to say thank you guys for being with me. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Love.